My dear friend, twice a year in December and in July, right now, we ask you to prayerfully consider positive Christianity in your giving. To give back. We do not write letters ever soliciting donations of any kind. It's just twice a year that we ask. We give constantly, and we ask you to prayerfully consider giving back. Any size gift is welcome, and we so appreciate you for taking the time to go the extra mile for God in this way. It has been said, how do you spell love? When you reach a point where the happiness and security and development of another person is as much a driving force as your own happiness, security, and development, then you have mature love. True love is spelled G-I-V-E. We often call donations love offerings, not just free will offerings, but love offerings. Because truly, when you give back to God, you're giving out of love. And you're giving not just to God, but giving to others, the other human beings on the entire planet that share this space with you right now to make the world a better place. In 1 John 4, verse 11, it says, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Well, love begins and it ends with God, but the middle part belongs to us. During this brief time that we have, God has given each of us the opportunity to become a more loving person, a more kind person a courteous person, a cooperative person, a forgiving person, and to obey the golden rule. Unfortunately, when we make our own rules as we go along, sometimes we miss the high point of life. If we choose to reject the many opportunities God has given us, to show our love to others and to give back, do you realize we cheat ourselves? We cheat ourselves out of God's multiplied, incomparable rewards because you can't outgive God. The decisions that we make and the results of those decisions affect the quality of our lives and our relationships. God has taken the first step. God loved us even before we loved God. And today, we choose to show love not only to God, but also to those that God has placed on our life path. And this is one of the things that Jesus said to do. He said in Matthew 25, verse 40, and I read from God's Word translation, I will guarantee this truth. Whatever you did for one of my brothers or sisters, no matter how unimportant they seemed, you did it for me. I ask you to consider us in your giving, and I say in advance, thank you, and God bless you for it.